Hey guys, I have a really fun project to share with you today. Um, we've been doing a lot of peyote stitch. I've been designing some for our Michaels classes that feature these little peyote tiles. And I've been using software to generate abstract imagery for peyote stitch designs and for loom designs too. But um, today's project is a peyote stitch, even count, um, made to fit on a really cool finding that we just came up with. It's a rainbow like a golden rainbow finding. It's really cute. And so I made these earrings and I made a bunch of patterns for them and they're designed to fit so that you can suspend this little gold part from the bottom. Um, it's just a really fun look and all of the designs are meant to be like an abstract landscape. So different colorways. I have a lavender scape. I have a green mountainscape, and I have um, this one that I'm wearing, which is like a, it's kind of cool. It's, it's meant to be a sunset. And that was a palm tree. And the way I brought the image over, it lost the, like the trunk of the palm tree because it was kind of overhanging the beach where you don't see the trunk. It's off the side of the image. Anyway, long story short, I'll show these up close here in a minute. So far there's four, there might be more by the time I post this video, I don't know. They'll all be in the description, a link too. Um, and that link will take you to our blog or you can find the PDFs, download them, all the patterns will be there. So um, what I'm gonna show you here in this video today is just how to attach the wire guardian and how to attach the finding and show you how the pattern was designed to fit it so that you can use any of those patterns that you'd like and attach it to the rainbow. Also these findings, um, the link to buy these is in the description as well. All right, let's get started. All right, so here's an up close of these cuties. And again, I used these findings, which I'm dropping a link for in the description. And I used Muki Delicas in various colors. In all of the patterns that I'm going to share with you guys, there will be the um, Miyuki color numbers. But I want to encourage you to use what you have if you have colors that are close. Um, often I create these with generic colors and then go through my stash and see what I've got. And then I stitch from there and then go back and update the pattern. So that's what I did. It will work for you doing the same exact thing. And um, so what I'm going to show you is just how to attach it because we are doing a class for Michaels. Um, we're doing that in um, in April. We're showing people how to do peyote stitch from the beginning like this to make these little tiles. And in that class, we're going to make a bunch of little um, peyote stitch tiles that are started in exactly the same way these are made. So um, if you're new to peyote and, and that's something you need to uh, brush up on, come to that class. Um, for this video, I'm just gonna show, assuming everyone knows how to do a little peyote stitch square like this from a pattern, I'm gonna show how I attached it to the finding and how I finished the top part of it. All right, so here I have uh, wire guardians in 18 karat plated. These are at Michael's and I'm using these to create a loop at the top for us to put our ear wire on. So what you wanna do is weave with the um, strand that's at what you'd like to be the top. Um, weave to exit from one of the center three. So you see here I've come over for this pattern, it was the sixth one over. And you'll find that to be the case for all the patterns I designed for the rainbow findings. They'll be the sixth, count over six beads and you'll be there. So bring that on. This is the wire guardian. Come over through the other side of it. And then just kind of pinch it in your fingers to keep the thread inside the well. The well is that little top part of the little rainbow there that makes it stay in. And so it'll approach the beadwork. Skip one bead and then go down through the next one. So from the one you've come up through, right? Skip one and go down through the next. Pull tight. And there you go. So I'm just gonna weave this in. In order to do that, I'm gonna need to make a turn. And so I'm gonna go down through one of the two that sit below it. Pull that down. And then come up through that bead that's adjacent to it, right there. And now I'm gonna go up through the bead that the wire guardian is sitting on top of. Let me give you a close up view of that really quick. So you see the threads coming out of this one and there's the, the wire guardian and the bead it's sitting on top. So we're gonna go up through that bead. And if I can, I'm gonna try to go through the wire guardian in one swoop. Sometimes I make it, sometimes I don't. But you can kind of help it so that it goes through. These aren't very heavy. So I think three passes through the wire guardian is gonna be great. We've already done one, here's number two. So 
So there's that. I'm going to make that same turn on this side, reinforce, and then weave in. Okay, over the top, down to the speed. And let's weave this in really quick and trim it. Just follow your thread path through a few beads, make a turn or two, and then just trim. There we go, all woven in. Let's just trim it, push down, pull up. There we go. Okay, there's the top. Okay, really quickly, I'm going to put a needle on the um, bottom here. And I didn't mention earlier, but when I create my peyote stitch patterns, I leave a good tail. So leave about 15 inches or so, should be plenty. And again, these are the rainbow findings. They come with four. So you'll be able to make two pairs of earrings with each pack. And from here, you're going to be exiting from the edge. So let me just show you where we are. You know, from the last bead we added at the last row, or, or actually in this case, since it's the tail thread, this is where we started, right? Um, in any case, you wanna get to the third bead over, and that's true for all the patterns. So to get to the third bead, super, super easy. You just wanna go down through, down through the second bead here. Pull down, up through the third bead, and hang right there for a sec. Get a finding. Go through the hole on the finding and come back up through that same third bead. Treat it kind of like we're doing fringe, you know? A little bit similar to that. Same bead we're exiting. And then connect there. So we're gonna reinforce that real similar to the way we did our turn above for the wire guardian. We need to get back through the same bead. So to do that, it's gonna be loose right now, don't sweat it. We're just gonna make that little turn by going down through one of the beads in the row below. And then turning up through the adjacent bead in that same row. All right, and then you wanna come up through the same bead that we attached the finding to in the first pass. Down through there. I'll pull that just a little bit. I'm about to lose my, lose my thread there. Flip it over and back up through the third bead. And there we go. I only did two passes to attach them. I thought it was fine. You could do a third if you want. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and head over to where I wanna be next. So I wanna get over here, third bead in from this side. So let's see a little closer. One, two, and three, the third bead here, right? I'm, I'm over here now, so I need to get over there. All right. And what I did is I just went down, up, down, up, down, up through that bottom row there just a trowel over here. And now I'm coming up through the third bead. It's the third bead in from the edge. Up through the finding. And back up through the third bead. Okay, you just need to make that turn one more time. So same turn we did over here. We just want to go down through the bead below it. There's in brick, you know, brick stitch or peyote stitch, there's always two um, offset beads. So you just pick one in the row below. I picked that one. Pull tight. Come up through the adjacent one. 
and back up through that third bead in the last row. I'm gonna go through the finding. Back up through the third bead. And then I'm just gonna weave in and trim it. And there's my earring. <laughs>